Welcome to the spoken tutorial on exporting symbols from a module. In this tutorial, we will learn how to export the symbols from a module, import the symbols in a module. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox version 5.2. Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS Operating System Linux Kernel version 5.0.0-31 Generic Gedit Text Editor To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C Programming Language Basics of Linux Kernel If not, then go through the C or C++ and Linux Spoken Tutorials on this website. What is Symbol? Symbol is either a variable or a function. Symbol exported by a module become a part of the kernel symbol table. Go to the device driver directory in the desktop which we have created earlier. Here, I have created a directory named export import module. In this directory, I have saved three module files for demonstration. I have named them as export.c, export.h, import.c. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Open the terminal by pressing alt Control t key simultaneously. Press the Enter key after every command. Go to the directory export import module as shown here. Let us open the export.c module that exports the symbols. Type gedit space export.c. Let us understand the code now. We have to include these header files at the start of a program. The export.h file contains the exported symbols declaration. Let us open the export.h file to see the source code. Here we have declared an exported function, module function and a variable num. Let us switch back to export.c module. Export underscore symbol and export underscore symbol underscore GPL are macros. These macros are used to export the symbols from module to other modules. This macro exports the symbols to GPL underscore license modules only. The symbols must be exported in the global part of the modules file. It makes them visible to the kernel. The export.c module exports module function using export underscore symbol macro. This function contains a print key message as shown here. Here the num variable is exported using export underscore symbol macro. The num variable is defined as shown here. We have defined the init function and exit function with different print key messages. Now save the file and close the window. Let us open import.c module. We have to include these header files. Export.h file contains the exported symbols declaration used by this module. This module uses the function and variable exported by the export.c. 
Model function and variable num are used in this module as shown. We have defined init function and exit function with different printk messages. Now save the file. Switch back to the terminal. Let us now create a make file to compile the modules. Type gedit space make file. Type the code as shown. Make file is used to compile the export and import modules. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Type sudo space su to be a super user. Now type the system password. Let us compile the modules. Type make space all. Clear the screen. Let us check whether modules are compiled or not. Type ls. As the modules are compiled, we can see their .ko files are created here. Clear the screen. Next, let us copy the .ko files of modules to the current kernel directory. Type the command as shown. It makes the export.ko module visible to the dev mod tool. Clear the screen. Similarly, copy the import.ko file. Type the command as shown. Clear the screen. Type dev mod space hyphen a. This command will make the kernel recognize the newly added module. Here, the dev mod tool generates a module.dev file. Let us use a mod probe tool to load the modules into the kernel. Type mod probe space import. Here, the import module depends on export module. The mod probe tool also loads the export.ko module. Clear the screen. Let's check whether our modules are loaded into the kernel or not. Type lsmod space pipe space head space hyphen 5. We can see their names appear here as they are loaded into the kernel. Clear the screen. Let us see the loaded printk messages of modules. Type d message space pipe space tell hyphen 5. It shows the printk messages of export and import modules in it function. Clear the screen. Let us unload the modules from the kernel. Type mod probe space hyphen r space import. The mod probe automatically unloads the export.ko module. Let us check whether our modules are unloaded from the kernel or not. Type lsmod space pipe space head space hyphen 5. Here both the module's names are not in this list. It indicates that they are unloaded from the kernel successfully. Clear the screen. Let us see unloaded printk messages of modules. Type d message space pipe space tell space hyphen 3. Now we can see the messages from the exit function of both modules. Clear the screen. Type make space clean command to remove all files created by compilation. 
to go back to the regular user type exit with this we come to the end of this tutorial let us summarize in this tutorial we learn how to export the symbols from a module import the symbols in a module as an assignment open the export.c file change the print key message of module function compile the export and import modules load the modules using the modprobe tool see the output using dmessage command the video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for more details please write to us please post your time queries in this forum do you have any general or technical questions on embedded linux device driver please visit the fossi forum and post your question The spoken tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by Fossi and Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. This is Mayuri Panchakshari signing off. Thanks for watching.